2017 is expected to be a transformative year in terms of just who will carry mortgage risks in Canada going forward. At the moment, mortgages with a down payment of less than 20% are insured through government-backed Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation or through one of the private sector firms like Genworth MI or Canada Guarantee Mortgage Insurance. If the homeowner defaults on that mortgage, the insurers are on the hook for the loss. Well, CMHC head Evan Siddall has been a longtime critic of the banks getting a perceived free ride in the real estate market. He told me that the new federal measures that were introduced a few months ago are a step in the right direction of reallocating housing risks and encouraging the banks to lend more prudently. The way we're making the, the Department of Finance in particular leading this work uh, and we're supporting it is we're opening up for consultations and we want to hear feedback from banks, from non-bank lenders, from Canadians on that particular proposal but also any other alternatives that uh, that we could hear from them that could strengthen the system. It's an opportunity for a conversation about improving our system. Well, the Bank of Canada also has its eyes firmly set on risks in the housing market and the potential effect on the financial system. Soaring home prices have been a major policy headache for the central bank, constraining its ability to, for, to counter any further slowdown in the economy. That is, of course, because cutting interest rates could, in theory, make borrowing even more attractive, further fueling an overheated housing market. Thankfully for the Bank of Canada, the federal government's moves to tackle the problem have afforded the central bank a bit of breathing room. Earlier, Governor Stephen Polos told me that the new housing rules will increase stability in the housing market and among the banks. It's good for us to have these discussions out in the open, but my, my understanding and my, my, my firm belief is that the banks have been very good underwriters throughout this. Uh, but, but what we have is, uh, in the end, between an individual and their lender, can I qualify? Right. And these new rules make sure that you can qualify not just at this rate, but at a higher rate. So it gives you a cushion in the system uh, for when, you know, if rates do drift up, as you observed earlier, uh, well, we have to be ready for that and the system will be more resilient to it. The question now is whether the pendulum has swung too far. Canadian household debt has topped the $2 trillion mark this year and the ratio of household debt to after-tax income rose to a new record high of almost 167 percent. About two-thirds of that debt is locked in mortgages. That's fueling concerns that our economy may be too reliant on bank borrowing and is extra vulnerable to a housing downturn in rising rate environments. It's no secret then that the Canadian banks have a tough balancing act ahead in 2017. And that wraps up our special year-end presentation of Industry Insiders with the Big Five Bank CEOs. I'm Amanda Lang. You can find all of these interviews on Bloomberg.com and BloombergTV.ca. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays.